Hey everyone, welcome back to Clutch Situation. What I'm going to do today is start a series of videos in which I want to update uh, videos of my overall collection. The last time I did a total collection video was in uh, July of 2015, and it's now February of 2016, and so I'm, uh, in my opinion, long overdue for a update of the collection. And the collection since that last video has gotten so large that I sort of feel like I might have to do this in more than one video. I'm going to do it in two videos for sure. I don't know if I'm going to end up doing it in three. We'll just see how far I get today. And so I'm going to start off uh, just by showing how I keep all the pencils in my collection because I want to keep my pencils nice. And so I use these cases... I have four of these large ones total that I use, and these are just simple artist loft cases from Michaels. If you go into Michaels with a 40 or 50% off coupon, you can get them for around eight bucks a piece. And so for a hardback case that has a rubberized, um, stretchy holding things for pencils, I like it quite a bit. And so um, I have four of these larger cases and two smaller cases that I got from Blick Art Supply. And what I want to do here is I just want to go case by case and show you a little bit of what I have in the collection. And so let's start with this case. This case is kind of my miscellaneous case. In this case, I have a lot of miscellaneous pencils. And so uh, specifically, these are pencils that I just got when I was traveling. Or uh, I also have all of a particular, or most I should say, of a particular brand in individual cases. So this is kind of a miscellaneous or small collection case for pencils of which I only have a couple of a particular variety. Up here in the right-hand corner, I have a couple of Library Congress pencils that I got when I was last in Washington, D.C. I have my Skillcraft Fidelity pencils, U.S. government pencils, which Skillcraft is, uh, I believe... Uh, National Organization for the Blind. I'll have to look that up and update the video just so I can get you precise information. All of my Right Dudes pencils are in this case because it only took a couple Right Dudes pencils for me to realize that, you know, you really shouldn't spend your money on Right Dudes pencils. They're pretty low quality manufacturer. I have the Oto Horizon. I still have yet to review the Oto Radial so it doesn't go in the case just yet. I have um, Parker Classic Pens. Our Parker Classic Pen, I have a uh, Fisher Space Pen that says, um, this one says Smithsonian Institution. I know that those aren't mechanical pencils, but I keep them in this case just to keep it nice. I have um, uh, some overflow of a couple pencils in here. I have basic original Pentel QE 435 uh, twist erase. I have a Schaefer mechanical pencil that I got at an estate sale, couple of vintage uh, Pentel Ices in the AL27, a Pentec Ultra Sharp mechanical pencil. This is from, uh, it was like in a drunk junk drawer that we've had for decades, so this is an older model mechanical pencil. I have a practically mint condition Pioneer Seeds. You know, here in Nebraska, it's really easy to get um, these. This is a... Schaefer, and this is a twist mechanism in 0 0.9 millimeter. I found this mint condition Pioneer Seeds mechanical pencil, and so I added that to the collection. A couple of cross mechanical pencils. Um, most of these are, are of the twist variety as opposed to the modern uh, click variety for crosses. I have both of my Alvin pencils here. I have my Milan PL1 Touches, Tool mechanical pencil, and then all the rest of these... Uh, with the with the exception of these Bic, sorry, so I have a couple of Bic pencils. We have Bic Velocities and Bic Atlantis. And then all the rest of these are all Zebra mechanical pencils. So I have the Zebra Z-Grip, a couple of them here. I have Zebra Color Flight. Wasn't a huge fan of that. Zebra Delgard, which is in my uh, honorable mentions. The Zebra M701, which is in my honorable mentions. And a couple of Zebra M301s. And so there's the first case for you in my collection. This is the miscellaneous case. We'll just move that to the side and get another one going here. Next up, we have, let's see, what do I want to do? Let's do this one. 
This is the case of, um, with the exception of the upper right, uh, pencils of German manufacture, or original German manufacture. Um, I think the exception here is that I store my Tombos in this case. And so starting once again in the upper right, we have a wide variety of Papermate pencils, the Papermate Sharp Writer, uh, Papermate Clear Points in a wide variety of different colors and lead sizes, uh, the Papermate... Um, Gosh, I forget what these are called. Okay, um, these have a special name, and I'm blanking on them right now. I'm probably going to have to look it up. Um, but uh, these are 1.3 millimeter pencils. That I got the Avengers series from Papermate right here, and then a uh, Papermate Precision, which is essentially a knockoff of the Rote Ring Tiki. It's definitely lower quality manufacture than the original Rote Ring Tiki, of which I have an example right here. When Sanford, who owns Paper Mate, bought Rote Ring, they essentially co-opted the Rote Ring Tiki uh, model and turned it into a Paper Mate model. I have a couple of Faber-Castell pencils. We have Faber-Castell Grip 1345 and Faber-Castell uh, TK Fine Executive. And then these are all my Stettler products. I have a Stettler Mars Micro Plastic Clickable Eraser. We have the Stettler Mars Micro, which is currently in my honorable mentions. Great drafting pencil. It has a really strong cushion mechanism. Okay. And uh, when I last ordered from Cult Pens, I got this... Uh, this is not a mechanical pencil, in case you didn't notice, but I got this uh, Stettler Made in Germany... Uh, number 180HBF20, pastel normal pencil in HB. I have the Stettler 92505. I do eventually want to add a 92525 to my collection. I just haven't gotten around to that yet. A couple of Stettler 774 Tri-Plus Micros. And then moving on, we have the Lamy pencils in this case as well. A Lamy Scribble in 3.15 millimeter. I appreciate an Australian benefactor contributing that to my collection. Lamy Safari also in uh, contributed by that individual, and a Lamy uh, 2000. Or no, wait, this is a uh, Lamy logo. Okay, mechanical pencil, retractable sleeve, lovely pencil. Okay, so all my Lamy pencils are right here. There are a couple of pencils that many of you who watch my videos will know are in my collection and not shown in this video, but that's because they are in my travel case, and I'll get to my travel case probably in uh, another video. Uh, we have the Tombow 505 SH. These are all my Tombow pencils. Tombow is a capped pencil. Okay, I just got another capped pencil in the mail, the Muji uh, aluminum pocket pencil that I'll be reviewing coming up pretty quick here on the channel. So I'm trying to keep that Tombow nice and pristine. We have the Tombow monograph shaker, shaker pencil. Okay, lead is extending there when you shake it. Tombow mono zero eraser. And then I have my overflow of my Rote Ring pencils here. I have a Rote Ring Tiki in blue. My, my black Rote Ring Tiki, I believe, is a school. I have a Rote Ring 300 in 2mm. And then I have uh, some of my Parker pencils. I have uh, Parker Classic right here. And Parker Jotter in stainless steel of UK manufacturer, I believe, for this one. Some extra erasers. And so... In addition to my, uh, keeping my pencils in all these cases, I'll also keep extra lead and extra erasers and everything. And so um, rather than making one long, giant video, I think I'm actually going to end it here. And uh, so a couple things um, that, that I'll bring up on the channel here moving forward is I still have yet to take you through my pilot case. I still have yet to take you through my Pentel case. I still have yet to take you through my dedicated sharps case, where these are just Pentel sharps, and then I have my travel case as well. And so there's a lot coming up on these videos. I just wanted to show you part of my collection, and uh, I think 10 minutes is probably long enough for, for a video like this. And so that's part one of my collection updated for February of 2016. So thanks for watching, and I'll do another... Uh, collection update video part two coming up pretty soon. Thanks.